YouTube gaming will succeed Twitch within the next five to 10 years. Let me explain why. But first, subscribe. Anyways, the three main points I have for this is one, YouTube gaming treats its content creators better. In a way, Pokey is right that Twitch doesn't really have a reason to care for every single content creator on Twitch because there's so many of them. Who cares if they lose one or the other, you know? Who cares? They already have 20,000 really good streamers that have like thousands of viewers every day. So why should they care if one leaves like Ludwig? But Ludwig enjoyed the treatment that YouTube gaming gave him since there aren't that many big YouTube gaming streamers on YouTube, they are able to treat him better and like give him more respect. And that's what he really enjoyed. And you know, maybe there will be a time when YouTube gaming ends up getting more streamers and they get to the same point as Twitch. But for now, that's not the case. So I think YouTube gaming is better in that aspect of content creator treatment. Second, they also listen to their content creators more. Well, most of the time. The dislike thing for YouTube is a bit kind of argues against my point but in general i think with the youtube gaming 2022 benefits they've been listening a lot to what youtube streamers have been wanting like features that are similar in twitch and that will help them compete against twitch also youtube evolves itself essentially you see when youtube for example did youtube shorts they adapted a short form content that was evolving also known as tiktok and since that was blowing up around the world they had their own format and you know back then my friends would be like what the hell is your youtube shorts i don't know what that is but then later maybe maybe a year later, then they're like, hey, I'm scrolling through YouTube shorts and I'm seeing so much good content. It changes a lot. And when you evolve yourself to fit those standards, everything works out really well. So I believe YouTube can do the exact same thing for YouTube gaming and YouTube streams. And someday they will kick Twitch right off that throne. But that's not the only reason. Another reason is because YouTube is just easier to grow on. There's more discoverability, but also not only just that, there's also less competition on YouTube. It's like trying to stand out in an army of 10,000 rather than standing out in an army of 100. Not 100, like let's say 10. I think standing out in a group of 10 is a lot easier than standing out in a group of 100 or 1,000, right? Basic maths. You get to stand out more easily because there's less competition. And if you want to do that, YouTube gaming is your best bet. Instead of being in Twitch where there are thousands and hundreds of thousands of people that are all trying to stream. And there are the masses, even more than that, that are streaming to like zero to three viewers every day, you know? Twitch is sitting on the top of the hierarchy for a long form content and streaming and it's gonna stay there for a good bit but maybe not for too long because especially they don't really listen to their content creators as especially during the hate raid situation they didn't take a very long time to react or do anything about it whatsoever and especially with the boosting feature that a lot of people had backlash against you know I don't think things are looking too good for Twitch right now with their relationship with their content creators, with their general YouTube is building better relationships with content creators. They're evolving themselves. They are essentially having a group of content creators that are easier to grow in their industry. Things are just leaning in favor towards YouTube and I really hope to see it very soon. All right, that's over. I'm tired. If I'm tired during recording this, that's why. Bye-bye.